Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Ash McDonald. Thanks for joining us. Here's a look at your local headlines for this Friday, December 24, 2010. Missouri's National Guard plans to start training some of the state's prison inmates to help out during national disasters. In the past, nonviolent offenders have helped local officials during floods and such. The current plan would call on prison officials to screen nonviolent prisoners before participating in the program. Police are warning Columbia car dealers this holiday weekend and beyond to be aware of two men trying to use thousands of dollars worth of what are likely fraudulent checks. Columbia police say the men tried to buy a truck and Mercedes on Tuesday with suspicious documents. The men had more than $200,000 worth of E-Trade checks. Once dealers began asking questions about the checks, the two men asked for their documentation back and left the dealerships. Police say they want to warn sellers of the scam. The Today Show will be back after this. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Ash McDonald. Thanks for sticking with KOMU. Here's an update on those road conditions out there this morning if you're heading out of town for Christmas travel. Looking at MoDOT reports, the most snow-covered roads are right here in mid-Missouri. Headed east, you'll find mostly snow-covered roads all the way to St. Louis, so expect it to be fairly slow going in that direction. Heading west to Kansas City, the story's better. Roads are partly snow-covered through around Cooper County, then mostly clear the rest of the way. You can find those live conditions on our webpage, KOMU.com. And in other news, the auditors the Missouri Auditor's Office says it found math errors in vacation time records at the Lieutenant Governor's Office. Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder says the errors were in, on internal office forms and not on official records used to pay employees. In another audit, Monty said the state had transferred $5 million from an investor education fund into a Missouri general fund. The audit suggests seeking reimbursement for the investor, ed investor education fund. Today shows up next. We'll see you back in 25 minutes. A suspect in a Cape Girardeau triple homicide has pleaded guilty to a single count of second-degree murder and agreed to testify against his co-defendants. Samuel Ray Ray Hughes has been scheduled for trial next month on three counts of second-degree murder. He answered the plea to the single count Thursday during a hearing in Mississippi County where the case was moved on a change of venue. Hughes was charged with two other people in the October 2009 shooting deaths of Jamie Orman, her unborn child, and her 15-year-old son, Derek. An update in the case of missing woman Jessica Eberhardt. Police have arrested three people after a once missing St. Louis area woman was found dead in her mother's car on a Thursday on a parking lot outside an Arnold Urgent Care Center. The three people are suspected of abandoning Jessica Eberhardt's body, a felony punishable by up to four years in prison. Authorities do not suspect foul play. Former Missouri government, Governor Matt Blunt has wiped out a $300,000 loan the, he made to the 2008 campaign of Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. The decision frees Kinder to focus on fundraising for his own likely gubernatorial campaign. Attorney Jared Craighead confirmed the loan cancellation Thursday to the Associated Press. Blunt waited until almost the last moment possible to f forgive his loan to Kinder. Although he is not officially a candidate, Kinder has been preparing to challenge Democratic Governor Jay Nixon in 2012. From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Ashton McDonald. Here's your latest headlines from KMU this Friday morning. An update in the case of a missing woman. The once missing St. Louis area woman, Jessica Eberhardt, was found dead in her mother's car in a parking lot outside an Arnold Urgent Care Center. Police have arrested three people who are suspected of abandoning Jessica Eberhardt's body, a felony punishable by up to four years in prison. And in other news, some are doubting how the state will continue to keep water clean. The fees Missouri businesses pay to, to fund water, state water quality expire today. One quarter of the funding for Missouri water enforcement are paid by these fees. The DNR wanted to renew the funds, but the Republican-controlled state Senate refused. Officials say there is enough money to continue water enforcement for several months. After that, the state may have to look to the EPA for help. Missouri transportation safety officials are encouraging people not to drink and drive through an online contest. State officials say that in 2009, vehicle accidents involving an impaired driver killed 281 people and injured more than 1,000. The Department of Transportation is giving away four $20 gas cards to people who complete an online quiz about drunk driving. The contest will run from January 3rd through the 7th. The Today Show will be back after this. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ashton McDonald. 
Some are doubting how the state will continue to keep water clean. The fees Missouri businesses pay to fund state water quality expire today. One quarter of the funding for Missouri water enforcement are paid by these fees. The DNR wanted to renew the funds, but the Republican-controlled state Senate refused. Officials say there is enough money to continue water enforcement for several months. After that, the state may have to look to the EPA for help. A suspect in a Cape Girardeau triple homicide has pleaded guilty to a single count of second-degree murder and agreed to testify against his co-defendants. Samuel Ray Ray Hughes has been scheduled for trial next month on three counts of second-degree murder. The Today Show will be back after this.